Good morning! In case you've not watched my previous vlog, I am currently in Malaga for a race. And today is race day. Today I'm running a half marathon in Malaga. Now, I've had a little cry this morning already and I'm not going to pretend that everything is going well because honestly, <laughs> it's not. Um, Mother Nature decided to turn up eight days early eight days early and she decided to turn up this morning of course she did i'm sorry to open up this video with some tmi stuff but unfortunately this is what's happening i'm really struggling to focus right now because my mind is just like everywhere thankfully i thought of bringing some painkillers with me so i'm gonna take one just in case it helps with the cramps potentially but usually on day one i never run because it's too painful um so obviously today should be an experience to say the least Honestly, I can't believe it. Like all this training, me trying to plan my races around my cycle, boom, here we are. Of course, to top it off, I don't have anything I need for this situation. And mind you, it's Sunday morning in Malaga, not even 7 a.m. Ben kindly offered to go walk around the streets in hope to find a random supermarket that opens overnight and hopefully find what I need for today. I just can't believe it. which was the dream and considering how the day I started I didn't think that was gonna happen today so yeah I gave it my all today I'm so happy hello it is now a few days later we're actually back in the UK currently self-isolating until our Covid tests come back hopefully negative and yeah I thought it was about time we do this race recap, I am wearing my jacket from the Malaga race. To be honest, I still don't know how I managed to pull this off and how I finished in 1 hour 39 minutes and 14 seconds. This is mad. As you saw before the race, I was not confident at all. To be honest with you, I was completely flapping. I thought maybe I wouldn't be able to complete the race and I had already accepted the fact that the sub 140 was most likely not happening on that day and that it was going to be a 2022 goal but hey also one thing that I did not mention and that added to my stress before the race is that whilst Ben was wandering around early in the morning trying to find the stuff I needed um, he got followed so he texted me saying oh I think I'm being followed so Someone was behind him, he crossed the road, that person crossed the road as well. So Ben crossed back, that person crossed back. So at that point, obviously me panicking, just like absolutely flapping, I was like, just come home, like don't worry about me, come home, be safe. Um, and then so Ben eventually basically managed to drop the guy and then he was in the street where there were more people around, so it was less risky. I was really relieved to see him come home, but then two minutes later, I had to leave and go to the start line because there were over 7,000 people. It was going to be busy. I didn't want to be the last one arriving, basically. The, like, the mindset I was in that moment, absolutely not race ready. So I jogged my way to the start line and just hearing the music, the atmosphere, people arriving, warming up, just everyone in a good mood. I started to feel a little bit better. And Ben walked down and joined me. We struggled a bit to like find each other because it was really busy. But yeah, I managed to see him before I had to go to like the road to my starting pen. 
I decided to completely scrap my race strategy because I thought there was no way this was going to happen because originally I wanted to run very much within myself for the first 8 to 10k then pick up the pace and do every k faster and faster and the last 5k go all out just empty the tank and that was it basically uh, but with the circumstances on the day not even knowing if i was going to finish the race i told myself just go hard from the start just give it your best shot from the start until you cannot run anymore basically and just like that it was already time to go and uh, i didn't really know where ben was gonna be and I actually didn't see him well he didn't see me and i almost didn't see him i saw him when it was too late when i was already in front and then i turned around and i was like oh that was ben the first k we were all a little bit congested because you know it's a must start we're all starting at the same time and then you've got people from the back trying to pass you on and people at the front a little bit too slow Anyway, so my first K wasn't actually that fast. I picked up the pace fairly quickly and I I think I, I stayed pretty much all the time in the 440s and then when it was downhill, 430s and I was like, just do this until the cramps kick in and then you see what you do. And also, I told myself, as long as you keep running, you keep that smile on your face. Like, as long as you keep running, this is all what you can hope for today. So yes, I kept that smile on my face. I saw Ben at the 8k mark. He actually handed me my flask with electrolytes. And then I saw him around at the 10k mark where I'm like smiling and everything. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is going so well. And I'm so happy to be here. The atmosphere was just amazing. Like all the spectators, the music and everything. I... I was just like absolutely enjoying it. Then I hit 15k and I look at my watch and I kind of like do the math in my head and I'm like hang on you're on track for a sub 140 and at this stage I was still not crumpy I was bloated but not crumpy so I could run. After 17k I picked up the pace like seriously and I think I did my last few k's at 430 something pace and I did not see Ben at the finish line because it was quite busy I didn't know where I was gonna be but he saw me on camera and I know most likely it's a sub 140 I knew I had done it but at the same time I was in absolute disbelief um, how did it happen? how did I manage to run? no idea this is my best race so far I think and this was the best possible last race of 2021 I already want to do it again next year. Absolutely, absolutely recommend this race, whether you want to do the half marathon or the marathon. It's relatively flat. The atmosphere is amazing. The weather is great. We got lucky because it was not too windy that day, so that also helped. I'm excited for new goals, new races, new challenges in 2022 thank you so so much for watching thank you for liking the videos thank you for the comments thank you for just for being here basically i'm not too sure what the next video will be but i hope to see you in the next one bye